let's meet old Tubbs himself, Philip Michael Thomas. saying to me this is the first one of this kind of thing that you've, you've done over yes, outside uh, America. That's correct. This uh, makes history for me. Yeah. Yeah. And for us, first, yeah. of course, we had Don Johnson on, but by satellite. You're the first vice man who's come in live here. All right. And a beard. Yeah, this is, uh, I use this in the whole fourth season, so it's a different look. Oh, so you're going to be like this um, for, the, for the season? Yeah. Yeah, with the beard. Why yeah. did you want to change the look? Well, kind of like add a little different flavor. You know, there's a lot of men out there that are cool with beards. So I said, freeze, be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel more cool because you got a beard? Well, no, I, I just don't like to shave, really. Yeah, me yeah. neither. But when you start a beard, it's very tacky, isn't it, for the first In couple a, of a weeks? A little bit, a yeah. little bit, a little bit. May yeah. I touch yours? Oh, nice and smooth, yeah. Good. <laughs> We brought the carrot juice for you. All right. You see the old carrot juice here? I see the because old Because you were juice. complaining, weren't you, that you couldn't get any decent carrot juice here. Well, we I did find some carrot juice. We scoured the country and got right. you some Thank carrot you juice so here. Much. Are you very health. keen on that kind of stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm really into health. You know, this, like, really makes me feel good. And I used to jog, like, every day for, like, 12 years, like, 5 to 15 miles a day. Yeah. And I'd drink anywhere from a quart to a half a gallon a day. What does it do for okay. you? Well... It proves mm. your eyesight, I suppose. Uh, it, <laughs> yeah. it, it's just, it's just very lovely. Is it? Yeah. I'll be the. I've never had carrot never juice had? Okay. in my life. The first. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Mm. Do you find that helps the eyesight and all that? What, what's it good for, carrot juice? Uh, it's just good for everything. I mean, uh, sometimes I mix carrot juice with beets and celery and, and other things, and it just makes you just feel really good. You're a vegetarian? Uh, basically, sometimes I eat fish. What about the alcohol, you know? No, no alcohol, no cigarettes, no drugs, no, not even aspirin. I haven't taken an aspirin in 12 or 15 years. What do you do for the odd giggle? The odd giggle. <laughs> <laughs> What's the odd giggle? The odd laugh. I mean, you, you, you sit there surrounded by vegetables. And, and <laughs> <laughs> no, really. I mean, uh, health. It's okay to be healthy. Oh yeah. yeah it is. Yes, of course. But you, you, you have know, to go to such extremes. I mean, uh, you know, well, it's not you can eat a bit of meat, extreme. can't you? Can have the well, odd I, drink. I used to. I used to. But uh, in 1967, I went to a Seventh Day Adventist college. You know, the Seventh Day Adventists are vegetarian. You were going to be. Uh, a, a minister. A minister? Yeah, yeah. And I, I started studying about vegetarianism then. And since 67, I've been basically a vegetarian. And how come you, well, we wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, you know, you're the kind of guy who'd want to be a minister, but there you are. As I say, it takes all sorts. <laughs> there's, many, there's many a wild man became a very good priest. Why did you decide not to continue with that? Well, actually, I'm still studying. You know, I, I, when I was uh, like 16, I used to be the youth minister of my church. And on Friday nights, I would preach a little sermonette. And now on Friday nights, I'm doing Miami Vice, so I'm still doing something like that. You know? Yeah, you, you think it's, it's preaching kind of sermon? Well, it's teaching. I think it has a moral content to it. It has yeah. an image here of, of sex and violence, you know. When anybody wants to say, oh, we want to keep sex and violence off the screen. In fact, it was mentioned there's a current debate going on, a current um, argument about controlling the amount mm. of sex and violence on the screens, and, and, and you... Uh, committee has been set up and Miami Vice gets often criticized for sex and violence I mean yeah. well we got we got criticized like that in the beginning too but I think that makes a really good statement about uh, what happens to you if you deal on that level you know there's only two ways with the drugs that's either jail or death you know and and I understand there's uh, for the international market on drugs there's something like one trillion six hundred billion dollars mm. a year so it's quite an industry but, you know, still Miami Vice is entertainment, you know? You don't think it glamorizes the drugs thing or the, I don't or the think violence so. thing? No, I don't think so at all. Yeah. No. I, in fact, I have some very interesting conversations with a lot of the, uh, the real Miami, uh, the, the Vice people, you yeah. know, FBI, CIA, and stuff like that. And a lot of the stories that we do are stories that uh, deal with real life stories. People always say, oh, those two guys on Miami Vice, that they're in Italian suits and designer T-shirts and all this kind of yeah. thing. First of all, Two ordinary cops couldn't afford that kind that's of correct. thing. They must be on the take. Well, no, it's undercover. You know, that's Michael Mann, you know, putting, uh, uh, you know, just qu quality into it. You 
But he, it, then that's glamorizing it, really, isn't it? Not really, because if you're dealing with someone who is, is dealing, like, say, on millions of dollars, they're going to be wearing the best of everything, you know? And if you're coming in undercover, say, you're, you're going to make a deal, you don't want to come in in some blue jeans and a T-shirt. So you think it's a, it's a fair representation of, of what no, goes on I, in I, Miami? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think there's so many other dimensions to Miami. I mean, Miami is a very beautiful place. The reason why I like it is because it reminds me of one step closer to heaven. It's like paradise. We have beautiful beaches there. I mean, there's uh, good things for family life and stuff. It's not all sex and violence and, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. What other changes are we going to be seeing in the new series? Um, well, let me see. You are, which, which series are you in now? God which knows. One? That, okay. The third? No, what? I think we might be picking up on the one. On the third? You're about... About a year? Yeah. Because we're yeah. going into yeah. the fifth year now. Yeah, well, we'll be on the fourth. Okay. Well, well you're going to see, um, let me see, James Brown does an appearance in, in, a, in a show, and it's about aliens. Like, uh, we have, um, we hit Tammy Baker, Tammy and, uh, and uh, Jim Baker. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's a lot of different, more, more, I think, humanity in the show. What about the alligator? Is that going to be? The alligator's still there. Elvis the alligator. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't like that, do you? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I stay Never as appear far... with alligators or children. But, but no, alligators are dangerous. I stay as far away from that as possible. Yeah. Yeah. And Sonny gets married, doesn't he, in the new series? He gets married to Sheena Easton, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So you've had no problems in America with regard to the violence on the show at all. Oh, they, they, don't, they don't think it's... This. What about playing the role of Tubbs? Do you find that easy? Um, growing into it, like you're talking about yeah. violence. When I, when I first started, I, I had a problem with guns, you know, because I, uh, you know, I just had a problem with guns and I had to learn to shoot. I, I told Michael Mann, I said, I'd rather jump on somebody, grab them, whatever, instead of, you know, killing another human being. It's a very interesting transition I've gone through, but over the four years, almost five years now of training, uh, I'm a marksman. There's certain things I've learned about guns and things that I have a lot of respect for it. You know, I don't treat it as something that uh, you take lightly. What about the being made into a sex symbol? Ah. You, you and, and Don Johnson, yeah. you know, particularly at its peak, you yeah. were the, the big sex symbol. I mean, did, did that pose any great problems for you in your, in your, your own personal life? Well, uh, everywhere you go, you get people mobbing you. I mean, it's okay, but a sex symbol, I don't know, I think that's kind of limited. I, I, I would prefer to be treated as a health symbol. And I think that... that uh, well, you are a picture of health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You know, I think it comes along with the territory. Yeah. And uh, do you hope it'll continue, or would you like to extend your range into some of Oh, yeah, some yeah, things? yeah. No, well, what I'm doing right now is I, I'm also recording. You know, I'm, of course, I'm, you've got uh, a music business. Right, right. I own a 24-track recording studio, a 500-seat theater. That's why I like this. It's so beautiful. It reminds me of my theater in Miami. Yes, it's really And, and I have a... <laughs> <laughs> I love it, I love it. No, but uh, my next album will be coming out on uh, August the 1st. Yeah. It's called Somebody, and uh, Ashford and Simpson produced two sides on it, and it's got some really incredible You write songs. any of the music yourself? Uh, two, two of the songs, yeah. Because you started as a, as a boy entertainer, didn't you? Uh, kind of, sort of. Sort yeah. of, kind of. Yeah. yeah, as a singer, really, and a, a performer. Yeah. A variety of uh, one of the first talent shows I remember winning, I was about 11 years old, I sang uh, Rock and Robin. You remember that song, yeah. Rock and Robin? Yeah, yeah. Give us a part, can you? Um, she rocks in the treetop all the day long, hopping and a bumping and a singing a song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go tweet, 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 rock and robin, tweet, tweet, come on. Rock and robin, tweet, tweet, tweet. Away you go, rock and robin, and you're really gonna rob it tonight. Wonderful. <laughs> Not easy, not easy to sing and accompany. Just another side of the talents of Philip Michael Thomas. Great pleasure. Safe journey back to you. We look Thank forward you to so the much. new series. Good night.